All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of uh, Iowa Hawkeyes baseball here on MVP 07 NCAA baseball. We are, of course, 1 0 currently in the Big Ten tournament. It is a, uh, I believe it is a double elimination. So we have staved off elimination thus far. We have the ability to knock off Penn State. And then my assumption is we will face the winner of Michigan OSU and uh, find out just how well we can do. Honestly, I'm, I'm thinking that officially I'm waiting for the point where the, where the shit just hits the fan officially and we just suck. <laughs> the $25 subscriber tier gets early access to tournament ramble vids. I was trying to find more stuff based off of how based off of stuff that I've already booked and I just kept like forgetting. It's just like, you know, some of these guys I've had them for like 3 years. I can talk about what, you know, what has happened thus far with them and I didn't hardly do it. <laughs> oh, this should be easy. Then again, as I say that, probably going to be Probably going to kick my ass. <clears throat> Hello, I was drunk. Bullet points. I really do. I just, I probably needed like a, it, like it was one of those things that I spent so long making all the, uh, I spent so long making all of the um, graphics and everything that I just didn't think about bullet points. You know what? D Grand Hawkeye Pro Grand Prix 2020, that's going to be some professional ass vids. Like I, I feel like every year I can just move up a tier in in professionalism and production quality, and like it's it's going to be something straight out of WWE next year. <laughs> that's how it'll go. I can hire someone. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba -ba. Yep. Iowa State is drunk and Iowa hung half a hundred in Ohio State. The fuck happened? I guess I'm going to I guess I'm going to need context as to what happened cuz I feel like it, like I guess because it was Saturday, college football happened. Iowa State being ranked is already like the single most insane thing I've ever heard in the history of ever. Now I have to know what happened. Okay, they lost to West Virginia. That's that's what I'm expecting out of Iowa State. I don't know. I, I know people are just like, ah, oh, you know. Yeah, it's like West Virginia beat them. It's like, oh, okay. And then Iowa Hawkeyes football. Wow, 55-24. What the fuck? And Ohio State was ranked sixth. Holy shit. Oh, man. Oh, the context. Let's see that as it opens up. Oh, no, don't play a video. Don't don't play the video. Oh, a stupid autoplay video. That's insane to know that the Hawkeyes... Hawkeyes beat Ohio State that badly. Cyclones losing to West Virginia doesn't shock me, though. The fact that they're ranked and and at a decent record is more what shocks me. Where it's just like, oh, it's like people tell me it's like they're ranked number 15. And it's like, wh why? What the fuck? Who who decided that Iowa, Iowa State football needs to be ranked? But then you tell me they lost to West Virginia. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds about that sounds like the Iowa State I know. Mm. I forgot. I had the I had the knowing I was going to talk for like half an hour straight. I had the foresight to get myself a big glass of ice water in a cup. Like it's literally a WWE souvenir cup that I got at a house show like a month, month and a half ago. It works just perfectly fine. It's sort of sweat proof. 
Not not completely though. Yeah, they've been. I mean, that's that's fine. I mean, it could be. It could have been worse. Like, I guess more what I'm expecting out of Iowa State is to find out that they lost to like Baylor or Kansas in football. Like that's that's more what I'm expecting. Shit. Drop away from him. Thank you. The road to the national championship goes through corn country. To be fair, between a lot of the Big Ten and Big 12 teams that end up occupying so many of the top bowl games, it kind of always is run through corn country. Maybe just not specifically Iowa. Once upon a time, it was Nebraska. Then you got Oklahoma, Ohio State, Texas, Oklahoma State once upon a time. I guess it wasn't all that. I guess Oklahoma State being a top-tier team was sh like less time ago than in fucking Nebraska. All their losses are to ranked teams. Oh, that's, yeah. I, I think technically Iowa's not ranked. Or maybe they. I don't. I don't think Iowa's ranked. Uh, you know. I bet you they're gonna be, get ranked. Uh, <laughs> if Iowa State is, if Iowa State was 15, they might drop a little bit after this loss. Who knows? But I imagine they have the same record now as as Iowa. I imagine Iowa might get a ranking as well. We might have both of them in the uh, in the top 25 after this weekend. Probably lower tier. I'd expect them both maybe in the 20s. But I could see it. It is warm. Mm. Nebraska was dominant. OK State was good for a Yeah. I'm trying to think what other, like, what other, like, Iowa. Iowa was, like, number five. They almost went to the college football playoff, what was it, two years ago? Was it two years ago they had that, that, that loss to Michigan State? I can't remember. It was either last year or two years ago when they were pretty much on their way to the uh, college football playoff, the national championship playoff, and then lost to... Michigan State in the Big Ten tournament, and then they took their their spot. It's like, good job, assholes. Just what I expect from an Iowa team. That Iowa team was actually trash. <laughs> hey, they were ranked what, number five? By the time bowl games came around. They just didn't play anymore. Yeah. Hey, I feel like he probably could have gotten that one if he if he tried. Mm. I really, I really want to play MLB Power Pros on stream. I feel like that might be the next thing that I play on stream, but I realistically I have to actually get used to playing it because it is such a difficult game. It is it's crazy how difficult the game is when I'm trying to like do a series. Like just to not get my ass fired after a year. It's just like Jesus, are we serious? Wow. Make him throw pitches. Get on the ground of the second. Ah. On to first. That's in time. I don't I also don't know if I will or not cuz I bet you I could I don't know if I can do an extra save on Super Mario Odyssey. I assume I can do multiple saves. But that might be wishful thinking, because I haven't seen save slots. I've just seen save buttons. 
because I wouldn't mind doing it on stream because I've had a lot of fun with Super Mario Odyssey. I'm sure everyone and their brother probably plays it though. I don't know. I've been on actually I've been on Twitch, and now now they have like like they have a new update to the Twitch app, and it shows like the top games. Could I make another profile to play with? I guess I could. I guess I could do my own personal profile and then, um, like, something specifically for stream. See, I had an assumption that there would be save, st like, there'd be, like, save slots because I know when I was doing Disgaea, Disgaea has save slots. And Mario games usually have them. I mean, hell, even Super Mario 64 had three saves. I just haven't maybe seen it on Odyssey. Hey! Number 10 is digging in. Swinging strike on the fastball high and away. Yeah, I feel I feel fairly accomplished because when I got to Metro Kingdom, Metro Kingdom seriously like helped helped me understand how to get to places. Like, I think Metro Kingdom's one of the best places to learn that because it's just, like, there's all these tall buildings. There's a lot of space in between a lot of the tall buildings. There's a lot of, like, ledges and stuff to learn how to get there. And I, it really helped, like, seriously develop my ability to um, to do some of the more complicated stuff. I feel I feel much more accomplished in my ability to do some of the more complicated tricks that I've seen people do. Number 18 is up. I go, yeah, actually, I can do this this wall jump into a hat throw, into a dive, and then backflip, and I can kind of do that. Maybe not as good as everybody else, but hey, I can I can do some of the more complicated stuff. Ah, uh, shit. Drop, please. Nope. Okay. I totally forgot I also had, um, like, water enhancers used to be a thing a couple years ago, and it seems like they've gone away from some of the water enhancers now. Like, you can still find, like, little packets and stuff that you can put into bottles, but uh, what was it? Mayo? Mio? however you want to say it. Like, I can't find any of those, like, little bottles anymore. At least when I went to the grocery store, I couldn't really find it. I did find Arizona Green Tea does, like, water enhancers for some of their products, so that helps. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. Round the bases, boys. Let's go. Oh, this is going to get close. This is going to get close. Nope, he's not going to throw it. I'm totally up to do another profile. I'm wondering, though, if I do other profiles for streaming um, with some of my downloaded games. Because I would like to play The Flame and the Flood also on stream. I've had a lot of fun on my Switch with that, and I'm wondering, because it's a digital download, and I bought it on one profile, if I'm not able to play it on another one, that might be an issue, too. Who knows? I don't, I don't completely put it past um, Nintendo to not allow that, because Nintendo's like... Nintendo's weirdly progressive on some things where, you know, they're doing all sorts of innovating shit with their games and their controllers and all that and consoles and all that. But then, like, they're still stuck in, like, the 90s or the early 2000s. They're still stuck, like, 15 years ago with some of their other shit. It's weird. Still stuck in an old day where you got to worry about piracy and all that garbage. I mean, I guess you still kind of got to worry about it, but... Uh. 
not really so much with games anymore. They're just too easily available and always on sale. Like, I'll be the first to admit, like, probably in, like, 2008 or 9, like, that, I, I had, I, I did a lot of that where I played games where it's like, I'm not really interested in this, but I'm going to go ahead and try to download it because I can't really, A, I can't really afford it and it's really hard to get a hold of. Nintendo sure likes fucking over third-party devs. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, totally put some third-party games on our console, on our new console. It's going to be great. But we're going to uh, give you a nice little limit on the cards. And just... It is one of those things where it's like, man, I'd love NBA 2K18 for my Switch. But I don't want to down... My, my Switch is not a thing. I want to download... 13 gigs of a basketball game on too. That's insane. Plus, I already have it for PC, but I mean, the portability is is kind of the main the main feature I would like on my Switch. Like, I wouldn't mind playing L.A. Noir either, but to find out it's ten dollars more than a regular game and and it's like 16 gig download or something like that. It was like 14 or 16 gig download for the rest of the game. How can you not? Like, it's really one of those things. It's like, I can't remember how many discs L.A. Noir came in for the 360. I think I have it somewhere behind me in my room. But you'd feel like they would they would uh, be able to fit it all on a cartridge these days with how... With how much you can f fit onto something like that, like physical media like that. It's one thing is if it's a disc. Like, they have Blu-rays and stuff, but cartridges, you know, can be the same size for 16, 32, 128. I think the L.A. Noir thing is really making me a little weary to see how... Um, how Skyrim works on that because it's like oh man like when Skyrim comes out I'm probably not going to buy it because I already don't play it all that much I already bought it and didn't play it all that much as is I don't feel like spending money on a six year old game again nice but I'm 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 just kind of wondering how many gigs extra am I going to have to download to get to get Skyrim on a Switch? How many how many extra gigs are you going to ask for? I feel like I'm not taking horrible swings. That okay, that was slightly worse cuz that was in a cold zone. I probably just need to take you know what I probably need to do is if I see something that I'm not a big fan of, even if it's a strike, I should really just like take a call, like just take a called strike if I can afford it. That one would have been okay. See, that one was probably in the cooler area, but I mean still a strike. The switch could be the console for uh Yeah, I think I think a game like um, a trading card game type game, I feel like that'd be really cool. I could I could see it because they've already got the ability to take the Joy Con, split them in half, and have two people play it on one console. I could absolutely see that. I could absolutely see like I'm I'm wondering because I forget when the mat the last like Magic the Gathering game came out was it like 2015. I think 2015 might have been the last year they had like a, a Duels of the Planeswalkers game, and I I did I did pretty damn well in that game. I beat the game pretty quickly. Built a built a badass deck that I would love to have in real life. The Switch almost also seems like a console. Where if you if you're like Blizzard 
and you basically say, all right, we want Hearthstone to start coming out for con. We want to we want to find a way to get Hearthstone to come out on a console. I feel like that would be the place to be able to get it done. Like a switch would be perfect. Hmm. Shit. Oh, still a strike. Okay, cool. He probably could have smashed that. Smashed that out of here. Uh, oh, damn. There we go. Uh, nope. All right. All right. Two to one. Let's go. Or a better Yu-Gi-Oh game. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's let's go talk to him. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You got no reaction, really? We get no reaction out of you? God damn it. Alright, let's get a reliever up here. Let's do... Let's do Beresford. Beresford's usually good for like 7th, 8th inning, and then we can put in our closer in the ninth. Get it. There you go. Wait, what? Oh, I thought... Oh, it must have bounced. Shit. <clears throat> but yeah, MLB Power Pros kicked my ass so hard over and over again. It was literally one of those things I had to look up a guide for the game, like a, an online guide to tell me, oh shit, are we serious? Oh my god. What is this, man? Hey, are you ready yet? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are we really going to fuck this up now? Is this really how this is going to work? Hey, can you get your shit together? I have to. I'm getting the reliever now, so just hold on. Can you can you fucking close please close the goddamn inning out? It's not hard. Jesus Christ. Good. Close the inning out. We're gonna get the reliever in there, and then we're gonna hope you just die. Oh my god, he's fast too. I think this is an inside the Parker as well. Oh yeah, he's already rounding second before he can even get there. Oh, you can't. That is perfect. All right. Good start. Good start to the inning. Okay. Mm. This ball source through the air and you think to yourself. <laughs> Damn. If he wasn't there, if he wasn't there, could have done it again. Come on, Clement. I believe in you. Damn. Damn. Second baseman just needs to go get fucked twice now. Come on, Worth. <laughs> Mother fuck. We just need, like, a little bit extra power. Like, just... Put that over his head like three times it went the exact direction I want it to go, but just not enough oomph to get to get past the second baseman. Three fucking times. 
We are right there to getting it past the second baseman. Oh, that's right. I need to take you the fuck out. That's right. Thank you. Thanks for the reminder, game. Then I need to get him the fuck out of here. Okay, you done? Cool. Let's go. Sub him out. Let's go. You're gone. See you later. All right. Let's uh, let's save this game. Ah, that was early. Damn, I think that just smacked him right in the right in the face mask. Uh, yeah, I guess a slider would be the best thing. Ah, that works. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take them all out. This is gonna be the killer. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. A strike is called. <clears throat> Here we go. A ground ball headed for the hole. Yeah, they got normal. They got NFL football tomorrow. Probably won't watch it, but I'm interested to see how my fantasy team does. Jameis Winston is supposed to play tomorrow, but I got like no faith in him right now. He's gonna have to he's gonna have to find a, a week to show me that he's like not shit. <clears throat> Jameis Winston's been just a little too inconsistent thus far. Damn, that was a little high. Mm, that was okay. Still got the hit. I'll take it. Made him trip and fall down. Yeah, that I, I'm not surprised that doesn't count as a. It's not really an error. Just oh shit! Drop, 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 drop. Ah. Oh. I was hoping it dropped just on the inside of that line. Oop. This is why you have him and Wentz. I have him and Stafford. Stafford's usually pretty consistently good, even if the Lions themselves are shit. Wow, you're slow, you motherfucking... Ugh. I've been doing pretty well this year, um, but I've lost my last couple of games by, like, literally 10 points. So I'd like to come back from that. I've had a shit year. With, I've had a shit year with my wide receivers, too. It really, God, it blows. I had Terrell Pryor Sr. He hasn't done shit. I had uh, whoever the fuck he he was on the Steelers who want who wants out like he was gone for a whole year. He did pretty okay the first couple of weeks. Like he did really well, but now he's just been like nothing. Ugh, God damn! I can't forget the I, I don't remember the dude because he's not on my team anymore. But he's been like at odds with the Steelers right now, and it's just like well, okay, so he's clearly not going to get the ball. So let me find somebody else. Landry's been pretty okay. I think I got Jarvis Landry and uh can't remember who my one of my other big wide receivers is. Nelson. Jordy Nelson. To be fair, Jordy Nelson was a solid pickup <laughs> at the beginning of the season. Slightly less solid now, but Green Bay still seems to be doing pretty okay. <clears throat> Mm. Running backs, though, are LaShawn McCoy, Lamar Miller, and Kareem Hunt. Yeah, dude, Kareem Hunt has been killing it for my team. I I I rest I rest Kareem Hunt on my back 
I, I rest the team on Kareem Hunt's back. And uh, a couple other guys who are pretty good. I forget who else I have. Martavis Bryant. That was the guy. Yeah, that was the guy that I, I booted out of my team because he just couldn't stop arguing with the goddamn Steelers. <clears throat> I guess we'll try the slurve. Far from his best pitch, but helped. Nice. Yeah, Jordy and Doug Baldwin, you know, see to get the points consistently. Jordy, Jordy's all right. Jordy seems to get decent points. I don't know. Maybe I haven't paid too much attention to him yet. I laughed my ass off at uh, one of the guys now who had uh, AP is like the dude had one of the dudes on our on our team has had AP and Aaron Rodgers on his team for the last few years and I just couldn't help but laugh my ass off at his his misfortune I guess AP starting to do a little bit better now but between AP shitting it up for the Saints and Aaron Rodgers going down with an injury it was just beautiful Ah, it was too early. Way too early. All right, Roberts, come on. Ah, damn, too early. Yeah, I don't need to know that we were pretty much, I was pretty much already swung through by that point. Ah, oh, that was pretty solid. Just didn't quite go the direction I wanted. It's not good. We got one inning to go, and we need to make something happen in the ninth. But that has been the M.O. of the Iowa Hawkeyes in this series. The M.O. of the Iowa Hawkeyes is to bumble fuck our way into a win at the last possible second. Arizona, pretty sure he had over 15 points this week. Yeah. Nobody on base and one gone. Hit on the Come on, buddy. There you go. One more. And then we can try our best. I think we're in the weak part of our... I can't remember where we're at in our lineup, too. Might be kind of a worse part of our lineup. We'll see. Clement Worth Towers. Oh, my God. This is it. Come on, boys. Couldn't get much stronger. Oh, no. Why did you have to hit it off the bottom of your bat? God damn it. Come on, Worth. You are so due up right now. There. There you go. Oh, my God. Run, fat boy. Run. Come on. Go. Go. Ah, oh, tie game. Pull, pull up, pull up our closer. Come on. Get the closer going just in case. Uh, yeah, get, get the closer going. Let's go. Ah, oh, drop, drop. Oh, my God. Let's go. <laughs> Tie the winning run is on second. Come on, baby. Can I, I – oh, can we do – oh, do we have a guy who can pinch hit? <sighs> versus, versus Rodriguez. Um – Oh, man. Um, Epping might be that guy. Not Maduro. Hernandez. Oh, my God. Fuck it. Let's try it. Let's do something crazy.
Oh my god. I tried. Uh, now Rundle's up. This isn't all right. This is gonna take a miracle. Nope. Oh Yes! Oh Oh, I was I had my hopes up for half a second, like, oh no, he was so so close, almost there. Damn it. This is this is intense. This is this is where it gets intense now. And we have a crappy part of our lineup coming up, so I'm not the the I don't feel the greatest about this. Um yeah. Let's see here. Here we go. The Tag League Finals in stardom will be Bia Priestley and Kelly Klein versus Jungle Kiona and Yoko Bito. That's cool. They're not the Gaijins aren't gonna win though. It ain't gonna be Priestley and Klein. And they're still like Yoko Bito's I guess a thing in stardom. Always like a little weary about that, but who knows? Ah! And clearly, the Jungle Kiona Yoko Bito thing is Jungle Kiona is clearly just. Wait, what? I thought I had him up. Oh wait, no, I have the closer in already. Herpaderp. Okay, so he's fine. Maybe. Let's hope it doesn't go past this, because uh, he's getting tired already. Sorry, yeah, I was looking at on my Twitter stardom. Uh Japanese women's wrestling. <laughs> I was just commenting on it. Cuz for some reason the MVP baseball seems to always be the time that I talk about or watch Japanese wrestling in the background. I think I'm actually missing a uh New Japan show right now. <laughs> You know, okay. <laughs> ah, damn it. Just the matchup. Yeah, it's a weird matchup. And it's like clearly, clearly it's just Jungle Kiona and Yoko Bito. Like, Jungle Kiona is just the Kyrie replacement. It's like, oh, Kyrie Sane got, Kyrie Sane got, got signed by WWE. I guess we're just going to take the next, take the next best thing we got. I don't know how I don't know who all the tag league people were though. Oh my god, can we stop with the fly balls? Jesus Christ. Use my I probably should have just used my bunting skills, but I don't trust my bunting skills. Um Warm up a pitcher. Why does it say Hernandez? Um, let's do angle. There you go. Get, get angle up there. Hopefully we don't completely screw this up in the 11th. Base God, Billy failed us. Yeah. I pinch hit with him. Ah, that's why. Okay. But he wasn't warming up. <laughs> That's, I guess maybe I can't pinch hit with him and have him pitch. That'd be fun. That'd be great. Just survive. Just survive for as long as you can with your tired ass. There you go. There you go. Two outs. Let's go. Let's go. He's almost ready just in case. Mm. Oh, God. Come on. 
Okay, ground rule double. No, it wasn't a ground rule double. I thought it went over. Well, it's still a double anyway. Okay, okay. Oh, now they got a pinch runner. Okay. We're just going to have to put him in. Just put him in. We'll get his last last couple of pitches in. In the game. There you go. Good. Take it. All right, we get another shot at this. Why is our best hitter not doing shit today? Oh, my God. Please. Please. Mr. Best Hitter, please make your hits. <sighs> I might have to check the team here in a second, but I'll just... Ah, that wasn't a good. Ah, that wasn't a good thing. God damn it! Ah, use the pie. I try. It's just like, ah, uh, come on, Worth. Ah, I really just. Oh, overthrow! It. Oh, yes, yes, go, 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 go. Oh, haul ass! All right, third base. All right, the the winning run is on third. Towers is three and four in the game. Come on, buddy. Just put it in play. That's all I need. Put the ball in play. <sighs> I wonder if they're going to try to... I wonder if they're going to... Considering he's three and four, I wonder if they're going to intentionally walk him. No. Okay. Damn. Okay. Wow, look how late I was. How look how insanely late I was with that. Ah, oh, I should have just let it go. I should have just let it go. It'd been 3 and 1. I think that would have been a, I'm almost positive that have been a ball. I ain't I ain't trying nothing. Yes! Go. Shit. Damn. Hernandez, you got another shot at this. Oh, God fucking cocks. Mm. <sighs> Come on, motherfucker. Yes, that's the one. Just sit on first. Who, oh, fuck it. There you go. Fuck it. He's there. God damn. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> the pitcher, the the pitcher pinch hitter, did it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. New Japan's coming back to Long Beach. New Japan Pro Wrestling resents Long Beach on the twenty fifth. Strong style evolved. Oh shit. Yeah, the closer. Closing out the game in a different way. Uh, good Lord. March 25th. I can't wait. Michigan. Oh, we should look at the playoff tree real quick just to see how this turns out. Okay, so we're both 2-0. and oh. So if we win, we're in the finals. If we lose, we face the winner of... Illinois and Ohio State, which will almost certainly be Ohio State. Because Illinois is just... I can't believe they actually beat Northwestern. Although, I gotta say, if I lose to Michigan and I have to face Illinois again, I'll, I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. But we'll see. <clears throat> Boaz is up. All right. 39 and 10, 30 and 19. Both have solid. Uh, we're still at home, too. This is awesome. We still get to we still get to host all this. 
Too bad either. Yeah, too bad I don't have money either. I'd like to go out to California at some point for something. Welcome back to the playoffs. I don't know. Like, but, like this is one of those things where it's like I could see why people could live in California. Like if I could, like if I could be at like New Japan U.S. shows and Anime Expo and wasn't E3 in L.A. as well? Number fourteen is up next. The water, I, Walter Pyramid. How big is the Walter Pyramid? I mean, I hope, I hope they were smart enough to. I, I I'm hoping that's at least five thousand. Because I think they booked, what, a 3,000-seat building with the G1 special? It's got to be at least 5,000. E3 is in L.A. Oh, my God. Between E3 and that and Anime Expo, TwitchCon, TwitchCon would be another thing. One of the dudes that I sort of pay attention to was at TwitchCon and talked about how fucking drunk they were just all weekend. That TwitchCon is TwitchCon's TwitchCon's cool for networking, but I've from what I heard is if you know the right people, TwitchCon's just a weekend long like drinking binge party. Just a weekend long getting fucked up fest. Is the Cal State Long Beach venue? Okay. Well, that's loading up. I do want to see. Walter. Whoops. Walter Pyramid. It boasts 4,200. An additional seating, a record of tennis is 6,900. So I guess they could do additional seating. They can do up to they can do up to 6,900. If Bushiro didn't decide to split the Long Beach. Convention center. Oh my god, that was perfect. How did I? Why did I pull back with their anime stuff? It would have held a lot more than five thousand. Oh wow. Well. I didn't know Bushi Road also did anime shit there too. So you're telling me that they did that as well? Like they did New Japan stuff, but then they did like their Bushi Road anime stuff too? Because that's that's an that's that's just as big a reason. It's like listen. We know Japanese wrestling is a mostly weeaboo audience. Let's let's sell some of our normal shit while we're there too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, are we doing this? Ah, this could be a little bit tighter. I'm gonna try, fuck it. Go go Homer. There you go. Go harder, go home. People make fun of Kidani because he occasionally has his bang dream girls try and promote kickboxing and pro wrestling. I get it. I, I get that they can make fun of him for that. But to be fair, in America, we, I, I, would, I would assume that in America, we would give less of a shit about that. Because, once again, like I said, I, I'm... I'm willing to believe that there's probably a pretty good, if we had like a Venn diagram of New Japan Pro Wrestling fans and anime fans, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people who are wrestling fans that hate anime, and then there are going to be a lot of anime fans that hate wrestling. But if you're fans, I, I, would, I would believe that there is probably... Uh, a pretty big, like they would be a lot closer together and have a lot bigger audience than than what could be assumed. Now I have to see this Twitter picture of what I assume is the Bang Dream Girls. That's kind of funny, but I'm sure what they can't get away with in Japan, they could totally get away with here in America. Just like there's a lot of things in America you couldn't get away with that you could totally get away with in Japan. Oh, no. Oh, you fucked up. Ah, oh, 
God, these. Oh, I hate your sidearm throw. Like owning a gun. <laughs> Damn. Like weed. <laughs> there. Hey. The, you know what? I got the hit. Fuck it. It worked. I, I at least take pride in the fact I at least got a hit. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like owning a gun or, or weed. Things you could totally get away with here, but maybe not so much in Japan. In time to retire the <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine if he had if he had like weed juice and a gun? Like imagine he had just just a just a small little twenty two pistol, and his a small little twenty two pistol in with his weed juice. We wouldn't hear the name Matt Seidel ever again. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Visa issues. That's what it was. It wasn't it? It was visa issues. <laughs> Is that what we're going with officially now? Throw to first. It's a one, two, three inning in the middle of the second. It's two. Cool. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, why did I swing at that? Why did I swing at that hot guard? Wow. What a limp dick throw. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn. Just a little early. Nah, it's way too early. And not not at all where I should have. <laughs> then he wouldn't have hurt Kushida that one time. You think he wouldn't have? <laughs> you think Matt Seidel, even in TEW, wouldn't hurt Kushida just because of the first four letters in his name? <laughs> Maybe maybe if you maybe if you took the IDA from Kushida and put it in front That that would be that'd be Matt the, oh my god now I want to get Matt Seidel for Hawkeye Pro Wrestling and have that be his gimmick instead of Kushida you just switch the IDA with the KUSH so it's just I to Kush It's a great gimmick <laughs> Give him a weed gimmick you could have him go up against him. Challenge the time splitters. Let me see. Where do I want to put this? Let's go down here. Nice. Yes, get a hit. Get a hit off of these. Limit limit my limit my pitches. Totally down. Yeah, but make sure it goes to one of my fielders. Kushida hates Matt Seidel in my save. Well, I can do what I did with Alex Reynolds and Kurt Angle. I can Spend week after week smoothing things over until they finally just smooth things over with each other. He'll be fine. Boom. Oh, yeah. Went to the grocery store. And uh, one of my roommates bought this, these drinks. And I'm thinking that if I do, when I do socially drink, I might have to get them again. I might have to get them. It's uh, Jack Daniels does like a a mixed malt, so it's like with all like the not your father stuff and all that, and they do like fruit related stuff. They do like a fruit punch and the lemonade, like Jack Daniels malt thing, and then they do what they call blackjack cola, which is literally just bottled Jack and Coke, and it's really good. There you go. Now, if only he had a little bit more to get it to that back wall. But I'll take it. Oh, balls. <sighs> Come 
Come on, man. Let's see what you got. Come on, Clement. You really shit the bed for, for me in the last one. Probably could have put it away in, in nine if you didn't crap the bed as bad as you did. Oh, drop, please. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a triple. That's an easy triple. Oh, my God. Here we go. That helped. Oh, no. Come on, Worth. This is this is the best. One of the best opportunities I got. I can't screw this up. Cannot screw this up. Come on, Worth. Put it where I know you can put it. Mmm. Okay. Oh, they're already looking to change pitchers. Oh, fuck. That was perfect. I just screwed it up. Come on, motherfucker. Come on. Yes! Oh, no. Too high. Fuck it. Go. Sack fly did great. I I would like to I, I liked him to have actually gotten a uh, uh, um, place, but you know what? That's I'll take it. I I will take that. Sack fly to get an RBI in. Ugh. Yeah, we don't need a sack fly now. Oh well. We're up by four. Maybe if I get up by one more, maybe. I don't know. I could still probably sim past a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to get a pitcher warmed up. That's what I'm going to do, actually. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. this. Uh, you know what? I might do at least one more inning. I want to try to I want to try to save a little bit more time. Especially considering I went, what, into 11? I think I went 11 in the last game. There you go. There you go. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, it was kind of I was kind of uh it's kind of crazy with uh, the Steam Link just how much different stuff can actually play in that. I told my buddy I'm like, dude, I could legitimately use like I think if I added it as a Steam game like if I added it on Steam, I think I could legitimately like use Photoshop out here. Not that I would ever need it at all, but I think I could legitimately use it out there. <laughs> what do you think you should do in TEW? You think of doing your own road to global? You've been thinking about making progress into the European equivalent? I think both of those are decent ideas. I guess whichever one you think would be uh, more interesting. I always think the, the local, the globals are always pretty nice. You can get yourself some long-term things set up. Progress isn't too bad of an idea, though, either. I don't think it's really overdone. It's not nearly as overdone as a WWE brand split or a save TNA impact type thing. That's why if I wanted to do a different uh, thing that wasn't a local to global, I'd probably do something related to Dragon Gate because no one really does Dragon Gate. I think what I would do is I would create like I would I think if I was to do another save, I would go, OK, I'm going to try to do something no one really does. And I feel like Dragon Gate USA, like, oh, I'm going to bring back Dragon Gate USA, have a talent trade agreement with Dragon Gate and do some, you know, cool matches that way and create some some interesting moments. So I think if I ever do another one, that's probably what it'll be. 
I don't know. Maybe I could I could also maybe try to do something similar to what I did for CFC. You do Dragon Gate, you don't understand it as well. I I, I get that. Because it is one of those weird things where it's like if you if you do something that you're not as familiar with, you know, you could maybe piss people off. I haven't seen a lot of ICW either. I think may I I think I've maybe seen like one ICW save. Might be interesting. ICW is literally like a real life local to global, just unfolding before our eyes. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Like they have a bunch of local no name guys generally. They get maybe get some like decent names. They build up the names. They start getting bigger crowds, doing bigger shows. You know, sign on at least for a special show, like maybe a, a, a well known talent. The big boys are taken from them now that they've created stars. ICW really is a real life local to global. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can get him on this one. Mm. Do JCW. Oh my god, that'd be another one. By God, he's gonna go to the gathering of the juggalos and face him for the title. The adventures of Weed Man and Officer Colt Cabana. <laughs> no one does JCW. <laughs> oh shit. I also I also thought of an idea. In fact, if I were to do it, um maybe maybe something related to WCW. I actually thought about that as a potential brand split cuz I feel like at some point I'll probably do a brand split. Just to give people, like, give more people a uh, uh, a platform with which to perform. If I if I sign like at least another, you know, ten people or so, I might have to do that. But I was like, what the hell can I, you know, make it into? I thought like either WCW. Just like make believe I had enough money to buy the rights to the name and all that and try to run WCW style like shows and stuff like that. Bring back Nitro as like a like a Thursday or Friday show, something like that. Updated Flash roster, you can sign Austin Aries. Nice. I wonder how long I wonder how long it's gonna take to be able to sign Neville. Literally just make him sit for God knows how long in his contract. Mm. Oh, yay. Hey, you know what you can do that also no one's ever done, and you can maybe build off of like what I've what I've done before. You could do like a maybe almost a local to global, but with like uh, women's wrestlers. Like I haven't seen anyone do a women's promotion yet. I haven't seen anyone do like a shimmer or their own women's promotion. I haven't really seen that. Like trying to build build up women's wrestlers into like big stars i haven't really seen that 96 days is what you yeah i don't completely trust it but you know could be that'd be something else create like a competition to shimmer or try to run it make it big make actual stars Uh, damn. 
I screwed that up. Oh, well. You have a test save for that already? Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't ever see anyone do that. Mostly because I feel like you would be taking... Like, there's some of the Mae Young Classic people, but really, there's so much talent out there that wasn't in the Mae Young Classic. Like, you know, people people make fun of the fact that, like, most of, like, so many of my wrestlers, my female wrestlers at least, are Japanese. But that's where a lot of the un, untapped talent is at. And then they'll come to Shimmer and be in, the, and be in America. Or they might do King of Trios and Chikara. Something along those lines. God damn. Hey Noah, how's it going? Hey, I just saw that they are hosting me. Thanks. Appreciate it. How have I screwed it up that bad? Let me let me know how I've screwed it up as bad as I have. Hey, I'm up by five. So I'm going to take a chance here. Let's let's put DeVries in. Let's do the sim options. And we're going to let him pitch for one more inning. And then we're going to put DeVries in in the eighth. And then we'll see what happens. So let's coach this. Cool. I don't particularly care now. Okay, so let's sub pitcher. Put DeVries in. Uh, no. Wow, you're really you're not helping at all. Oh my God, are we are we serious right now? Okay. <sighs> Come on. Okay, good. Jesus Christ, I was about ready to jump back in. Like, oh no, are we really gonna do this? I want to have faith in my players. I really do. Just want to have faith in my players. But Jesus. You feel like you're going to pass out? <laughs> How about Iowa today? Yesterday? Yeah, I know. I heard about that. I, ha I didn't really see too much of it, but yeah, I, I did hear about that. Quite interesting to find out that they just, like, just dip their nuts right onto Ohio State's face. Oh, good. We get to face Michigan again. So, clearly, yeah, Illinois lost, and then and then uh, Ohio State lost just barely. I don't know what would have been the lesser of two evils, honestly. I guess facing Michigan's fine. <clears throat> I could just do that now. Screw it. See how well I can do. If I if I if I lose, then I guess I have another one of these games to do. If I win, hey, we can at least see what the College World Series looks like uh, after this. I'm already starting to run out of water. Welcome back to the playoffs. Today's game is between the Michigan Wolverines and the Iowa Hawkeyes. <clears throat> so all I got to do is win once. But I've got two games to make this happen. <sighs> all right, let's see how, how we can get this. God, what time is it? I totally for as I was doing all the stuff that I was I was doing to prepare for for the Grand Prix thing, like it it like I was doing it and I was like, oh man, you know, this is gonna take a little bit. And then I realized, oh shit, it's daylight savings because I looked over and it was like one something, and I'm like, oh right, it fell, it went back an hour. That's right. So it kind of feels sort of like 5 a.m. right now. That might help with my whole getting my, you know, not, not going to bed so damn late. Who knows? 
my roommates will probably appreciate the extra hour of sleep. Oh, damn. Bea Priestley and Kelly Klein won. Holy shit. I had I did not think that was gonna happen. A code red from the turnbuckles. Oh my god, that's a fucking like sunset flip bomb. I did not expect Gaijin to win a goddamn stardom tag tournament. That was surprising. Oh, oh, I think he might still make it. Make it, make it, make it. Safe. I'm sweating. It's really, it's really not a thing that I enjoy. I got to make sure to get the wherewithal to, to stream a fair amount over the next week. Because I'm totally not going to be around on Saturday night. And probably not going to be able to do anything. Top of the second. It just says the turnbuckles. So I don't know. I would assume just because it says the turnbuckles, it's probably the second. Because I feel like if it was off the top, you know, probably would have said off the top. Still, Code Red off the second is still... Something. That's still that's still something. <clears throat> Crowd is solidly behind Hana and Kagetsu. Yeah, no shit. It's like, oh, Oedo Otai is out into the ring. The crowd are solidly behind Oedo Otai. It's like, yeah, that's because Oedo Otai are fucking awesome. There's like literally not a bad member. <laughs> It's it's a weird it's a weird stable where it's li there's literally not a non awesome character like there's literally not a non awesome person in Oedo Tai. <laughs> uh, they just is this is this just gonna be my life right now? Are you just gonna go three and zero oh and I can just sit here and take pitches all day? Nope. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Well, probably should just let it go anyway. What in the fuck was that? That's not even fair. A 93-mile-per-hour cutter? A, a fucking 93-mile-per-hour breaking ball is not even fair. Who does that? <laughs> what in the fuck? Fuck. This is not cool. This is this is not cool. There you go. Fall on your ass and don't let it get there. There you go. Ah, oh, damn. I'm I'm expected I don't know what Gradoville did in the last game. Nope. Close. Very, very close. Sorry, no replays in NCAA baseball. Well, that one's done. Goodbye. Damn. Kind of had a little bit of luck going, and then it just kind of petered out. <clears throat> There we go. Kelly and Bia say that they will win the tag team titles for Moedo Tai. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm gonna be out of town next Saturday. My stepmom's my my dad and stepmom are gonna be probably kind of disappointed because I guess I guess my grandpa's 80th birthday is next Saturday, and it's like I'm seriously out of town. I plan for this shit like a year in advance. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have got an anime convention to go to and girls to meet. 
And that's fairly literally. <laughs> People to meet up with there. I'll get there, yeah. This is this is a part of my this is a part of my day where like I I feel like it's always baseball that does this to me because I don't mind baseball but it is generally not the it is generally not the most exciting for me LOL anime convention hey it's not that no, I have to go to an anime convention. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell them that. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna be like, "You can't do your grandfather's blah blah blah." For it's like I already have so many plans to not to not go. That's just. I'm just gonna say I'm out. I already told them it's like I'm out of town in Omaha. And I'll just leave it at that. Ball down the middle. Oh, oh, come on. Ah, oh, dude. 93 mile per hour breaking balls is just ridiculous. Really is ridiculous. And it's always interesting because, like... It's the offbeat fandom conventions tend to also involve the most amount of degeneracy. So there's always something kind of fun going on. Yeah, fuck your 93 mile per hour cutter. Oh well. I went to Anime Iowa and watched a dude at 3 in the morning get carted out on a stretcher because he pr pretty much had borderline alcohol poisoning. Get the fuck out of here. I should I, I wanted to go. I wanted to go, but yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. That would have been nice if it had just, you know, dropped fair. Mm, come on. I can get this together. That was way... I was way too early on that one. Way too early. I can get some runs in. I just need to get my shit together for that. Eh. <sighs> oh my god. An 88 mile per hour splitter. This is not cool. This is not cool game. Why do you create Why did I? Why did I? I knew that wasn't going to I knew that wasn't going to do it. I don't know why I even attempted to swing at that. Like it was totally going to work, guys. Fuck. I suck. Number 44 is now 0 for 1 at the plate today. Mm. Watch me swing at the most junk pitches ever. It's going to be great. That should just be how I name every baseball series. Watch me swing at bullshit. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that was... At least he only got one base out of it. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take the fact that, we got, that he only got one base out of it. <laughs> Hmm. 
Cutter. Mm. Come on, game. At least that helps. <laughs> All right, game. Let's let's try to get something going here, because I decided I want to try to finish this championship, and I would I would greatly appreciate being able to get this done, because I'm I'm still not a hundred percent sure. I'll probably do XBA, and I would like to I'd like to get to that at some point. Because I'm already two hours in. Hey, no, I thought the I thought the baseball god smiled upon me and said, "Don't worry, buddy, we got you." Hey, he can go to third. There you go. Come on, baseball gods. Why did I do that? I, I know better. Come on. Come on now. Nope. Ah, oh, damn. How did I mess that one up? Ah, oh, it's just barely late. Eric, no. Mm. Double play. No, it isn't. I'll let him go to second. All right, so we got one. Get to third. Get to third. Get to third. Oh, shit. Man, they just really got their shit together on that throw. I figured, like, you know what? I don't think he'll throw the most accurately on a, you know, one side of the field to the other type throw. But, no, he pretty much put that right where it needed to go. He was just super solid in that. <clears throat> Uh, oh, is he got it? He's got it. <sighs> it's been a it's been a lazy weekend. It's felt like a lazy weekend. I mean, it's only Saturday. I got all day Sunday to feel productive. I probably won't do much though. Laundry maybe. I have a buddy I usually hang out with on Saturday, but I pretty much just kind of, I didn't like blow him off because we didn't make plans, but I was just like, ah, I don't feel like making plans today. I just won't do it. I always find it weird that for some reason, every time they hit it in those deep corners, they barely make it to second by the time he's throwing the ball. But for me, I can somehow start circling the bases faster than you can imagine. I don't know. I don't I don't know what it is with that. You feel great, Noah? How do you feel oh my god, worth. I was gonna say, how do how do you feel great? I feel like this this is definitely I, I feel like with just this kind of nonchalant baseball going on, this is definitely the time to just kind of chat with people. It's like, so how are you guys doing? Hey, he missed. That felt like the fastest animation I've ever seen. He's fast and has a good arm. Yeah. That could be another thing, too. Oh, okay, good. Because if it bounced, that would have been an easy double play. Ah, 
I'm just... Read what you put above. Oh, okay. Okay. I kind of missed that. Ha ha ha. Almost hit, smacked him. You broke your nose Friday, jammed your toe on your door frame on Saturday. God damn. Dude, I've done that before with my bed frame because my bed frame is just like straight aluminum. Like just these aluminum bars. They hold like a shitload of weight, but it on the other side of that is I've stubbed my toe on it too many times. Alright, bases are loaded. Can't wait to see how we screw this one up. How many outs are we at? We're at two outs. Yeah, this isn't going to be difficult. Yep, there it is. Let's just go under the assumption that he's going <laughs> to maybe come in an error. <sighs> I never broken my nose, though. That's a, that's a new one. You make the bed frame make the bed frame out of diamonds. Oh man. I saw I saw for sale this like Japanese bed frame thing that I wish was a thing here. Cause it's just one of those things that looks like the most like needlessly luxurious things ever. But it feels like something I want now. Where it's like a bed frame, but it's like this it's like this super like bed frame that's um like it's got the bed frame and then at the back it has like a headboard but not really like a normal headboard but it's like the kind of headboard that looks like the back of uh like the 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 backrest of a um like a leather couch so like it's another nice leather thing and then it's got like this these like two enclosure type things with shelves and like like this little shelf space right next to the bed and then like a bigger shelf like uh like a thing on top that's almost like a top shelf space and then like on the other side is like a built-in lamp more shelving and drawer space and a goddamn like massage chair like it's just kind of curved into the it's just kind of curved into the bed but it's like a chair that does massages as well it's like a thousand dollars. It's not even that overly expensive. I was like, damn. If I had money to blow, that would be perfect. And it's literally just the bed frame. Because it costs like fourteen hundred dollars, but it's like I don't need a mattress. I have a I have a nice mattress already. This is this is just gonna be kind of an eh type game. You never know. Might have the you know. All it takes is like that one big inning, that one big inning to really get it going. To be fair, we already have one. So realistically, all we're really looking for at this point is to just not screw up. That's basically what we're doing at this point. Um, yeah, let's get Hernandez going nice you just sleep on the floor oh man I couldn't imagine that not after the fact that I, I now have like a memory foam mattress the whole mattress no springs no nothing just just foam different different like stiffness of foam it's like got your you got your like hard foam to to keep a, a shape on the bottom and then it just gets softer as you go up. It's fantastic. Get him. Get him. To be fair, we as humans are probably meant to sleep like basically on the floor. 
It's it's kind of like how us as humans are meant to squat when we take a shit instead of instead of sitting down. Like it's the wrong way to to poop. Like our biology just isn't meant for toilets. There we go. I guess we could try it. I don't know if I've done many cutters at this point. Oh, well. You got it. You got it. Did I buy the toilet stool? I didn't. Is that... I, I'm guessing the toilet stool is meant to lift your legs to at least give the imitation of... Uh, Drop. Ah, oh, damn. Give the imitation of squatting while you're sitting. I don't know. I enjoy. I enjoy sitting and pooping too much to worry too much about a about a uh, a, a stool. I could always get it. Probably would help. Maybe I'll just fuck up my prostate instead. You put your legs up on it and it unbends your poop tube. <laughs> Sub them out. There we go. Good job. Fantastic work. Look at that. Two straight times you just... There you go. It's just a regular stool. Yeah, I could probably do that. I've seen grandparents with it. Oh, well, you really just screwed the pooch on that one, didn't you? Might be nice. Get something, like, padded and decorative. People be like, what's that? It's like, nah, it's my poop, my poop stool. I just need a poop recliner. At least it'll at least it'll make me feel better about the the amount of time I I take as is. <laughs> it's already an event. Might as well make it a comfortable one. Nice. Was that eight? All right, cool. At this point, we just got the we just got the one inning. We need to put him away. Oh, that can't feel good on the foot. That can't feel good on the foot. It took a line drive to his goddamn foot. Oh, right on the toes too. That'll fuck someone up. Nope. Squatty potty. <laughs> Dude, I've ever since I, I, I should probably think about that because like when it comes to when it comes to things in the bathroom, there seem to be these things that people might not be might not enjoy. Like I've seen the poop stick, like the stick that helps you wipe your butt, which is ridiculous. That one's ridiculous. But like. I found out about like one wipe Charlies. They're amazing. It's it's great to have an actual clean butt. Of course I usually just get like I usually just get like uh just regular you can just get regular wipes at the store. They're probably much cheaper than a one wipe Charlie. Are you serious? Are we really gonna get like a uh Oh my god. This is Insanity. He just did it inside the park grand slam. Or no. Okay, that was only three runs. Should I even play anymore? I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done now. 
I'm I'm totally oh my god. Until what's complete? Until the current play is complete. There, we're good, right? Yep. All right, cool. Yeah, that's we're totally done. There's no way they're going to they're going to come back from that. Watch them come back from that. There. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, nada, nobody, done. Hey, Big Ten champs, four and zero, season record forty one and ten. And there we go. The playoff tree is done. I guess we move on. Sim the day. I want to see this. The number one seed in the seed in the Iowa City Regional, we got our own goddamn regional. Ah, oh, Christ, that's. Uh, so they got Norman for Oklahoma, and they face what New Mexico, Creighton, and Arkansas. I don't think it's Arkansas. Crap, I forget who that is. And then Iowa City, we face North Carolina State, Oklahoma State, and Tulsa. So, yay, we get to host our own regional. Move over Memphis. Memphis and Tennessee. Oh, wow. Texas Tech and ASU. How do I feel about the Switch? Pretty good, considering I own one and, like, 10 games now, either physical or downloaded. So, yeah, pretty big fan of the Switch. <laughs> Columbia for South Carolina. Okay. Georgia, ECU. Okay. I'm so glad we get an Iowa City regional. That is perfect. Dude, to do a regional where we basically just get to do all of it at home in our fucked up field is amazing it's just it's it's great enough we got to do our big 10 tournament there but now we get to do we need we get to do an actual regional there oh man well cool i guess i can save this and and call it good at least for that so, thank you so much. I guess I'll find the wherewithal to uh, continue to play, because I said I was going to do XBA, and I probably should, because I've only streamed one other time this week. Because I just had a long, long week, you know. Especially once I get around, once I get closer to Christmas, there's going to be way less time to do anything. So... Yeah, I, I should take advantage of it while I can, especially on a day off. Get some more stuff done. So I'll play some NBA. So I'll have that for you guys on stream. If you are watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for continuing to watch. And uh, now we're officially in the regionals. We'll see how well we do with that. And uh, we get to host it, so that is amazing to know. And now, now I get to deal with ho now they get to deal with my weird ass field, and trying to beat me on my own field. That should be interesting to see. So thank you, and I will see you next time.